Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you on a Wednesday. Here he comes, right there, coming in. We're going to be doing Charles Goodnight 100 Proof American Whiskey. It's America. Let's test it. Test it. <laughs> Mark, sir. The other day, yeah. Facebook hmm. you're was. Not even, you're not even on Facebook. No, but I read the news. <laughs> it's good to know. Some people were upset at Facebook, and they did an online petition, and hmm. they forced Facebook to change something. Facebook had put out a "I'm feeling fat." emoticon <laughs> and so people this. could attach the emoticon <laughs> to today I'm feeling fat <laughs> and some people were offended by this do they have and, a, I'm feeling skinny because sometimes I'm feeling skinny so anyway what I take is that people can force change <laughs> over I mean, it's, to me it's so petty hmm. what do you think yeah I'm with you. Let it some, stand. Some baby. people are offended because you're feeling fat. Well, were you able to like attach it to somebody else? Like I see you and I just throw it on there no. like a bully? No. So it was only your own emotion. Be, I think, uh, as far as I know, it's the same as like uh, Twitter. If you're sending out a tweet, you can only, I mean, it's attached to yeah. your tweet. I'm with you. Or, you know, so I'm sure it's in Facebook, it's the same message. Was it a chubby looking emoticon? I think so, yeah. <laughs> He's a little plump? Yeah. And they didn't like that? Nope. Huh. People were offended. Some days I'm a little the, bloated. Yeah. I don't you mind it. Feeling fat. By the way, if you're joining us, when uh, you sit down with us, not only are you going to get a review, it's as if you've joined us at the table, you're sitting down and we'll chat about stuff. This is no different than if you were sitting right there and that's what we want to make you feel like. That's right. So I poured you a little bit. What do you get on the nose of it? I know uh, we're Scotch you said you, were, you said you were feeling fat. Let's see your belly again. Reach nope. out there and adjust that one. I showed the belly on a prior episode. Go back and look at those. This shirt actually fits. So I could probably stretch and I wouldn't expose my poo bear. But I'm feeling good and I'm not feeling fat. Uh, Charles Goodnight. Let's just say I was in the um, hmm. my uh, neighborhood liquor store. Uh, I'm known in there and one of the guys that <laughs> talks to me quite a bit. He's known he uh, he recommends. He says, "Hey, the Charles Goodnight. It's on sale. It's normally it was forty nine ninety five. It's thirty nine ninety five, and it got like a ninety six rating on wow. somebody's whiskey scale. Huh. I so I that. said, I'll try it. Now I get a nice on the nose. This is neat. It's dry. It's crisp, and it's got that uh, kind of sweet. It's not a p overpowering, but a little hint of that sweet corn whiskey. But I, it's it's an interesting nose because I get a dryness, almost like you would with a white wine. Uh, Charles Goodnight, um, 100 proof, 50% alcohol, small batch Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. But the distillery is in California, so I don't know how that works out. Or it's bottled by the Goodnight Distillery mm. in California. But it's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Wow. I get like a... Um, Hmm. I get like a spicy, almost rye-like open uh, with that characteristic corn mm. sweetness. Very nice. It's uh, it's almost the sweetness almost is a mapley sweetness when I when I have it. Yep. Um, similar to some of the Canadians, actually. Hmm. No. Yeah, you were actually kind of light on your pour there. Well, sorry. I figured it's your bottle. I poured heavy on one of your other ones. I it is. I don't know. You you've mentioned a rye note that you you've I gotten do. out of it. I don't know that I get a rye note. It is. It's spicy. Um, I get a definite. There's a oak. There's a vanilla. Hmm. Um, the color of it, I love, and I don't know if they're adding I'm any sure. coloring. Could be adding coloring, but I get a strong but. and spicy bite. Um, it opens up smooth and it trails out like smooth brown sugar. And that is what I love about this. That smooth There's sweetness. That brown sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Let's see here. Um, the taste uh, neat is strong. Let's see here. 
I prefer to add water. Um, like I said, it is for 50%. I like to bring my stuff down to 40% somewhere in that range. Unapproved 50% ABV. Um, again, oak. I get a definite cinnamon, a vanilla, and almost like a kitchen yeah. allspice. Hmm. I definitely get the vanilla. Um, like I said, for me, that trailing, that last little finish where it's just like you got a little bit of brown sugar in there. So I got to say, I like their bottle design. I like going with the good night. They even got them stamped on the lid. So It's good. And, and hopefully as we're, we're more scotch guys, mm -hmm. hopefully our palate is going to expand a little bit better with the bourbons, with the America's whiskeys, mm -hmm. even into the Canadian and start I, letting me... Bart's comfortable giving scores. I'm oh, not yeah. comfortable giving scores. I'll give you a malt scores. mark on this, baby. This is... Uh, this is very good. For me, this is an 87. I like it. I like the sweetness. Um, um, I don't know why I'm picking up a rye. Didn't say anything about a rye being in there. Probably isn't in there, but I'm getting that spicy rye kind of flavor. Maybe that's just the higher ABV. Um, but the fact that it's tailed in there with a creamy, um, vanillish brown sugar, very, very delicious. If you're uh, if you're just tuning in, if you're mm -hmm. if you're a bourbon drinker, um, let it get into your mouth and saturate into your gums. Get it on the back of your tongue. Get it if under your bourbon, tongue. You mean if you're brand new and you haven't had yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and even some bourbon, well, no, most bourbon drinkers you're going to know. Sure. About, I guess. So, yeah, yeah, if you're newer, yeah. Front of the Make palate, sure you top, have side, saturate it everywhere in your mouth and, and, and really <laughs> absorb it. If you have to add water to bring it down to where it's uh, more comfortable for you to drink, do it. Don't be afraid to add water. What's your shirt say here? Eat, Eat sleep, sleep, win. win. I'm an AR yeah. star, baby. I'm a reader. Speaking of reading, um, you can support us uh, if you go to Audible. It's uh, audibletrial.com uh, audible backslash, backslash Scotch Test Dummies. Yes. If you go there, you'll get a free and put in Scotch Test Dummies. Do that little whole URL we just gave you. You're going to get a free 30-day trial. It won't cost you anything. And you're going to get a free credit that you'll be able to keep forever. So go try out a, uh, go try out a good book. So... Um, I think uh, you got Lord of the Rings. What about our glasses? ScotchTestDummies.com. Yeah. Boom. Check All right. out. Order your own Glen Cairn glass. I'm feeling fat, Bart. I can tell you seem a little bit modeling. You were a little bit like melancholy there in the last part. I was like, where do you go? I just lost Scott. I was taking everything in. You were receiving an emoticon and it made you feel chubby. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Salancha. Salancha. Dummies. All right. How'd you do one? Not good. Yeah. I gave you like that. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, Stay that's why I figured you'd try something different. Yeah. <laughs>